Uh, this is the final part three of the uh, video that I've been doing for the H2 Ocean fluid reactor. I just thought you, I'd show you um, what it looks like. Media looks like it's turning over okay, it's not too ferocious or the smaller particles aren't going up onto the outlet. Um, but I'm not sure whether that's too much or not, I'm going to have to have a little look around, see what people reckon or any comments. Let us know whether you think that's too much or just enough. It seems to be getting agitated quite well. Uh, I've tie wrapped these on for now. I just need to cut the ends off, but I'm, I may get some super glue and just super glue the pipes onto the onto the plastic outlets or inlet and outlet just to make them secure. Because apparently, in a sump, it's recommended just in case one was to come loose. You're not going to be emptying your sump all over the place. So I've just got uh, the outlet going into the third section of the sump with the non-return valve on there still and then I've got the, the pump in this section and that's probably about 50%, 60% open. It's pumping up, down, goes down to the bottom of the reactor and then flows back up through this. So I used the fine filter in the end because I looked around and it's separate rough, I used the fine filter and then it's just going out on the outlet. So it seems to be doing the job and hopefully it should get rid of the um, bit of brown sand I'm getting. So I checked my phosphate levels and it was just just uh, reading a little bit of phosphate there. So hopefully this will make the Rifos work a bit more efficiently and get rid of any the phosphate that I've currently been registering so I hope this helps people if they get one of these units. Seems to be doing the job for now so we'll see how it goes. Cheers.